This story was sent to me by Caressa Unite. And before I get into it, this is going to prove a lot of points that myself and others who make videos have spoken about. They, it, that damn Hollywood machine will do anything it can to get its digs, its talent, its claws into black men, no matter what. Now, of course, you know who these two are on your screen. That is Halle Berry <clears throat> and Wesley Snipes. And I, for one, did not know that they at one time used to date way back in the 90s. Of course, at that time, I was a child, so I really didn't care. But apparently they used to date back in the 90s, and it was always rumors circulating around that Wesley Snipes was abusive to her. It actually came out that um, Halle Berry was abused by one of her exes, to which we don't know which one uh, it is because she never gave a name. But they said that she was abused so badly that one time she got hit in her ear, and it caused her to lose about 80% of her hearing in the particular ear that she got hit and hit in so hard as a matter of fact that she started to bleed from that ear. And I actually had heard that before, but I never got all of the details behind it. But the reason why I have their picture up right now is because the Golden Globes just happened uh, a few days ago and Wesley Snipes was in attendance. And Wesley Snipes doesn't really make a lot of red carpet appearances these days, especially since a lot of people haven't seen him in anything lately. But he was there because he was in that movie Dolomite Is My Name. That's on Netflix with Eddie Murphy. And he was there and he presented, I think he uh, walked the red carpet and I think he uh, partially presented something at the awards. I'm not entirely sure all the details behind that. But lamestream media thought it would have been a good idea to bring up his past relationship that he had with Halle Berry, in which they say, and this is all alleged, that he was abusing her. It had nothing to do with why he was there that night. And like I said, this was just all alleged because they, she said herself that she was abusing a relationship, but she never dropped the person's name. Now, let's remind you that... Also, during that time, Halle Berry was with David Justice and with Christopher Williams at one point. David Justice being the baseball player and Christopher Williams being the singer. So, Wesley Snipes was somewhere in between, but this was before she got with Eric Benet and later marrying him. Now, people are saying that it was a possibility that she could have got abused by any one of those guys, maybe even a combination of all three, but we don't know which one actually did the extent to which she got abused. Then I was reading some comments where people said that uh, Christopher Williams came out and said it was him. Uh, no, Wesley Snipes did it. Uh, David Justice came out and said the same thing. We don't know until we get actual confirmation from either party, and I'm talking about Halle Berry or Wesley Snipes, then that's where we will go for it. Because at this point, it's just speculation and allegations. And as I was scrolling through the article, I landed on a tweet that came from what I like to call the Noxzema zone of Twitter. That's what I'm going to start calling it. Where this person says, and I'm not going to say their name. And it's funny because the, per the their name actually is of a TV show character from back in the 90s who was a, a Caucasian woman. But this is a black person, a black female who wrote, who tweeted this. She said, I can't stand the sight of this piece of shit every, because every time I see him, I remember that he beat Halle Berry so bad that she cannot hear out of her left ear to this very day. Now, mind you, this is all speculation. We don't know if it was confirmed or not if, that Wesley Snipes was the one that actually did this to Halle Berry. But I clicked on the tweet and I landed into the Noxzema zone, which is damn near like the ratchet version of the Twilight Zone. And... When I went in there and I started scrolling through the comments, it went from them talking about Wesley Snipes and him allegedly beating Halle Berry to them talking about Chris Brown and the Rihanna incident to them talking about Bill Cosby and everything like that. Let me tell y'all something right now. Why do we even need to face a uh, quote unquote white supremacy when it seems like a lot of people in with, who are amongst our own are doing the work for them? And these are other women in the chat, like in that timeline right there, other black women going hard in the paint 
against black men. I mean, they are dropping names left and right. And even when they get corrected in the comments by other some other black women, other black men, they say, well, so-and-so and so-and-so, they don't like to be wrong. So they'll come back and double down with their deflection. Like I said, this is all speculation at this point. We don't know if Wesley Snipes actually did what he did to Halle Berry because she didn't drop any names. He didn't come out and say that he did it. So we don't know. We seriously do not know. But one tweet from the Noxzema Zone got all the little Noxies panties in a bunch. And then they started going in on the man and say, this is why I don't support this man. He's canceled because, you know, they love to cancel people. That cancel cu- culture is a, is a weird one. It's a funny one, but it's weird at the same time. Then, like I said, they started talking about Chris Brown and, and, and Bill Cosby. And when someone said something about Bill Cosby, they said it as if they if, if Bill Cosby actually did what he was accused of. I even saw somebody and I don't even know if this was a troll or not and said that most dark skinned men are abusive. You don't have to ask me who tweeted that or what entity over at the Noxzema zone tweeted that it's pretty blatantly obvious <laughs> but it's just amazing that whenever something like this happens and a black man is in the conversation just like clockwork they will come up with their shield and sword ready to attack bows and arrows sling whatever you want to call it ready to attack and they don't even have all the facts and when you try to give them the facts they'll pass it off as if as if it's uh bogus as if it's fake because just in their mind alone black men are inherently bad remember they put out this little stat or whatever that black men are like so abusive or black men are the white men of the black community and all types of stuff all these hit pieces and most of them were written up by other black people specifically two groups one the black people in the alphabet academy and two black women and y'all can sit there and try to deny it all you want but this we have to just uh draw the line in the sands it's a lot of traitors amongst us a lot of them when they see that they can take find a way to talk um, crash shit about black men, they will t- they will jump. As a matter of fact, they won't even jump. They will leap like a frog, like a toad at any opportunity to do so. But let you say anything about a black woman, even if it's factual or anyone in that alphabet academy, then all of a sudden you're bashing women or you're you're homophobic and all types of stuff like that. Logic just gets thrown out the window at that point because apparently black men, excuse me, black heterosexual men are supposed to be dumb. We're supposed to be, you know, lack logic. No tact whatsoever. Like I said, this is all speculation when it comes to this whole Wesley Snipes thing. We don't know if he did it or not. Halle Berry's not saying anything. He's not saying anything. It's just allegations at this point. So for people to come and attack him like that and to bring this up when it had nothing to do with the night in the event that was occurring, lets you know they were trying to kick something off. They're trying to get Wesley Snipes back out to see. The thing is, Wesley Snipes has been down in the dump so long because of that whole tax evasion thing for so long. And now that he's trying to rebuild his career and gain it back on track, now they got to come with this. It's no coincidence that happened. But what's going to hurt is the fact that you're going to have a lot of black women and some of those in that Alphabet Academy that are going to help to push this. They did the same thing with Nate Parker. All they, all the lamestream, white lamestream media had to do was put the bait on the hook and then everyone else took the hook and the rod and, and cast it out to the sea. And, th- and the rest was history. But it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure that you will follow me on Twitter and have the notifications turned on because that's where I will share the video first. And I will talk to you in the next one.